Hi everyone, today I am going to be drawing these plums on a branch using colored pencils. I am working on Legion Rising Museum Mount Board 2 ply and I'm using several different brands of pencils for this one. I've got Prismacolor, Polychromos, Caran d'Ache Luminance, Derwent Lightfast, and even a couple of Derwent drawing pencils in here. Oh, and don't forget about Holbein. And I'm just using this mini pencils because I do have these in my collection and I just wanted to use the exact pencil that I needed but you could draw something very similar just using one brand of pencil. I followed a very similar process for all of the leaves I drew for these plums. I started by getting a nice outline done with my Polychromos Chrome Green Opaque. Then I came through and indented the paper where I wanted the veins and texture to be. And I used Derwent Lightfast Wheat and White and also a Prisma Color White and a Polychromos Ivory. And then I came through and blocked in the shadows using the Derwent Lightfast Mars Black, the Prisma Color Cool Gray 90%, and the Derwent Lightfast Ivy. Next came the mid-tones, and I used Lightfast Foliage, Prismacolor Kelp, and some of the Polychromos Permanent Green Olive. Then I blended that all out with solvent, came back through with my electric eraser to pull up some bits to create texture, and then basically repeated that process, going back over all of those different areas, cleaning everything up, and adding a few more details. For the plums, I started off by giving it a nice outline and then roughly sketching in where I wanted the patterning on the plums to go. And I was using lots of the Prismacolor Black Raspberry, Black Grape, Black Cherry, and also a lot of that Derwent Lightfast Purple. For the lighter areas of the plum or what I thought of as maybe the bloom on the plum, I was using Holbein Lilac Caran d'Ache Luminance Ultramarine Violet. And then in the shadow areas for that lighter purple, I was using Caran d'Ache Luminance Violet Brown. And again, I followed a very similar process where I wanted some texture or sparkle on these plums. I was indenting the paper using the white pencils or in some cases even that whole bind lilac and then I could come through with that electric eraser and brighten all that detail back up and I just continue to work over that until I'm happy this entire process is lots of layering and typically I will just keep working until I'm happy with it. I like to work pencils one by one, so I'll pick up one of the colors that I'm planning to use and I'll look at my reference image and go ahead and put that color where I see it, move on to the next pencil, and then continue to work back and forth that way. I'll come back through, oh, this area needs to be darkened up or I see a detail that I forgot blending everything out with solvent. I was using Utrecht Nude Odorless Paint Thinner and I was blending that with the Dynasty number no. four flat. And I was being careful when I was blending with solvent to use more of a 
tapping motion with that brush. I didn't want to smear the color around too much. I wanted to maintain lots of texture in this. I think that's what's helping these plums look nice and realistic. And it's also really important to make sure you have your patterning and your lines that are in the plums going in a curved motion in order to create some shape and make sure that everything looks nice in 3D. Those things I think are a lot more important than the exact colors you decide to use. And here is my final plum. I actually drew this one in real time over on Patreon. I have a series of videos on Patreon. I've got two real times, one of this plum, one of one of the leaves, and then I also did a much longer extended version of this video, a one hour overview. So you can check that on Patreon if you're interested. Working on the branch here, starting off on the outline with the Mars Black. And again, getting some curved lines in there to create shape and then indenting that paper to add lots of texture. And I also brought in some greens and purples from the rest of the drawing in order just to bring everything together. There's black raspberry in there and also may green. And I used chocolate brown from the Derwent drawing line. And just putting the final details on the branch. And here, once again, is my final drawing. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'm happy to reply. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.